Live from Studio A in Yuma, Arizona, broadcasting across Calexico, throughout Imperial Valley, Yuma, and streaming live on KYMA.com. You're watching Sunrise. Good morning, Desert Southwest. I'm Jalen Fong. And happy Monday. I'm Jacqueline Aguilar. Thanks for joining us this morning. It's the start of a new week, and it's back to school for several school <laughs> uh, for several schools in our area. Excuse me. We want to give a shout out to all the wonderful students, teachers, and staff at Arizona Western College, Calexico Unified School District, Brawley Elementary School District, Brawley Union High School District, Calipatria Unified School District, El Centro Elementary School District, Heber Elementary School District, and Holtville Unified. Continuing with Imperial Unified School District, Magnolia Unified School District, McCabe Union School District, Mulberry Union School District, Sealy Union School District, and Westmoreland Union School District, and of course, Balancing Academy here in Yuma. We hope you all have a great and wonderful first day of class. You can share your first day with us by sending us your pictures and videos, and you can upload them to kyma.com. And of course, I want to give a shout out to my mom, who's starting her 28th year teaching kindergarten in Calipatria. Mom, I love you so much. Hopefully, you have a wonderful day as well. Yeah, we're wishing you the best first day, Mrs. Fong. And we want to wish, wish an awesome back-to-school year for Lucas Lilly. Have fun with all your new students and friends. Love Nana and Tata and Tia. Awesome stuff. And now we're going to get a first look at our current weather conditions. We had a pretty wild weekend as far as uh, wind and rain. We had lots of wind yesterday, but I was really hoping that we'd get some more rain come in. But as of right now, we're in those mid-70s with our wind speeds at 8 miles per hour. Humidity is at 82% right now, so that's, of course, very high up. For today's forecast, we'll be remaining in those upper 70s within the next few hours, and then we'll be going up just to those low 80s between 9 and 10 a.m. But be sure to stick around for my full 8-day forecast coming up. And Tropical Storm Hillary made its presence known throughout Yuma this weekend. Our reporter Zachary Moore Norris gives us a look at some of the damages. If you're driving around Yuma, it's hard not to notice some of the immediate aftermath of Tropical Storm Hillary. What started off as a quiet Sunday morning quickly turned to this. Rain, dust, and heavy winds whipping through Yuma Sunday afternoon, causing a roof collapse at the Wienerschnitzel on 4th Avenue. Trees also uprooted like this one near Avenue B and 11th Street. When the wind started picking up, then we started listening to weird noises happening, and then suddenly we turned around, the tree was falling. A neighbor's surveillance camera capturing the moment the tree went tumbling down. We thought that it was going to be mild, and then suddenly it just picked up pretty strong. We've had a little bit of wind before, but we didn't think that it was going to be this strong. Wind gusts also the likely cause of these two semis rolling over on Interstate 8 near the sand dunes. Power outages forcing businesses to shut down, leaving at least 5,000 people without power Sunday. And as the storm sets the stage for a busy week of cleanup, this homeowner says he's just lucky it didn't turn out worse. We were relieved to see that the tree fell towards the, the street then the, towards the house. No word on the condition of those truck drivers, but let it be a grim reminder to stay indoors and off the streets until the storm passes. Reporting in Yuma, Zachary Moran Norris. And this is from one of our viewers. Check out this damage. It's on the Lanes and Primrose Street, right off of 8th Street between Avenue C and D. You can see the parking shade knocked down by the wind landing on this silver car, but so far no word on any injuries there. And taking things to Imperial County, there were several struggles with severe winds on, and rain on Sunday. Our reporter Jelena Aguilera tells us more. Imperial County officials had a briefing early this morning on safety and status updates on Tropical Storm Hillary. High winds and strong rainfall continue throughout Imperial County, causing flooding and power outages throughout the valley. The storm has decreased in its uh, hurricane status. There's still the potential of having a hazard weather event in Imperial County, and we will remain active and open to respond to the needs of the community. In the county, Ocotillo was one of the most impacted areas in the valley. Severe flooding rising since early this morning. There was a, a voluntary evacuation that was initiated yesterday for parts of Ocotillo, and uh, there is a shelter that's set up in El Centro at the community center. Uh, at this time, we have no one in the evacuation center or the shelter. The county issued an evacuation warning for residents in Salton Sea area this afternoon. For more information on road closures and shelters, go to our website at kyma.com. 
Reporting from Imperial County, I'm Jaylene Aguilera. Thank you, Jaylene. And President Biden will get to see firsthand the devastation caused by the wildfires in Hawaii.